What now? 6 to 13, way out here? That's weird, right? Oh, hell no. Dive the boat. Slow to one. Wowzers. We found ourselves a party. We found a little party going on. Dive that boat, everybody. Yeah, there's lots going on over here. Looks like they're heading for La Rochelle in a way. Wow. All right, so what's going on out here? We've got, oh, we got a tanker buddy. We got an empire friend. We've got a liberty friend. Another liberty friend. That's to know. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so let's take stock of what we're looking at here. Um, we've got a destroyer there. Um, destroyer, we got a C3, she's armed. Okay, we've got an Empire Explorer. We've got a Tanker. Another Empire Explorer. We've got a Corvette. We've got a Liberty. Another Liberty. Ooh. And another Corvette. Okay, so they've got three... Um, attack vessels. We're gonna whip the boat in this direction. We're gonna dive a little deeper to 30. We're gonna try to get sort of out there-ish. Because this should be one of the liberties. Right, which means that this guy ought to be my tanker, right? That's my tanker, okay. So the tanker's right there in the middle, which is good. That's fine. We are at blue lighting. Yeah, we'll sort of pace them a little bit. I'd want to tuck in. The C3 is worth an awful lot of tons here. Like, tons and tons. Alright, it's going to start getting dangerous for us here. At the same time, we are a good distance away from these ships. We may have to really uh, dance with the devil on this one. Because I don't really want to be moving at this speed. I know there's a destroyer right about there. Also, the um, Liberty ships, they do have uh, watch um, lookouts. So it is possible they could see our periscope, etc. once we come closer to the surface. Now, I'm pretty sure this is my Huckleberry right there. Uh, let's get a little extra room to look. So this is going to be the um, C3. So that means we're in a good firing position for our tanker here. So what we're going to do is turn in hard now. We're going to start on torpedo maintenance. Um, we're going to slow to two because this guy, well, he's that guy. We don't want him hearing us. Uh, we should be far enough away that's not really a problem as of right now. That being said, lots can go wrong at the drop of a hat. This is my dude right here. Um, it's possible that I may shoot at both of these ships, depending on how many torpedoes I get. Warmed in that time frame, mind you. But yeah, this guy right here, that tanker, that is that is numero uno. Four kilometers out from f closest target, we're look looking more like five and change for the guy I actually want to shoot at. That's okay, we've got a little time. That's fine, realistically. All right, so what we're going to do now, um, it is 3.37 a.m., so I'm going to keep moving a little bit for now. I want to cut this down to closer to 4K. And I've got to get the periscope up, because we got to start looking around and getting some intel on our friends. 4,200, 41... We'll use the TDC on this one. Um, I just recently put the TDC back in after not using it for about a year. So I'm a little rusty, but I think I've got it sorted now. So please don't take this as a be-all, end-all. Watch the tutorial on it, not uh, not what I'm currently doing, please, if that's your, your intent. All right, we're going to go to speed one here and start bringing the boat up, which means I'm going to want somebody on depth keeping so we don't broach. <clears throat> I gotta slave the periscope to the uh, 
ships in question here. That's a thing that's got to get done. All right, so we're also going to switch to red lighting. So I can see a little further in the dark. It means we'll burn through oxygen a little faster, but that should be 100% fine. Don't you broach. Good girl. Good girl. All right, get me observation, please, Skipper. And there's C3. Tanker should be right there. Okay. Start having a little look. Just a quick little look-see, shall we? Now, we got some choppy seas, unfortunately, so this is going to be tough. I don't think we're quite at depth yet. We are not, which is good. Still sliding up. Okay. Let's keep moving with the waves. We don't want to poke this out too far. Give ourselves away to our destroyer friend right out there. C3, she's a big one. She is armed, very dangerous to the rear. <coughs> Should be Empire and then Tanker. Perfect. There's my Tanker buddy. What do we got for Tankers? Uh, let's see. Doesn't look like a Dale class. Yeah, C's are pretty choppy. This is um, it could be OL class. It is not a T2. Uh, it's not a war class. Okay, so... It looks like OL class is my claim to fame here, I think. Yeah, OL class is what we're going to go with there. Um, We'll get a velocity. And we've got a 7. We're actually going to redo all this here momentarily, just because um, I'm going to use the TDC values instead. She's about, not quite 90, more like, like 86, let's pretend. Again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to overwrite these values. I just need something in order to open up the, uh, the torpedo bay. And there's the distance. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a um, velocity ourselves using our chart. And the reason for that is simply just to make things a little harder on ourselves than they have to be, just because, well, sometimes that's funner. Um, let's make sure that's reset. We're good to go. We're going to time this for one minute and use our chart to uh, figure out where they're going to be. It looks like we're only going to get the one shot. These ships are spaced out very, very nicely, uh, like for them, obviously. If these ships were close together, I'd consider firing at the two of them, but I'd lose a lot of the angle um, on one of them. And I don't really want to do that. I really want good eyes on this target. I really want to get this uh, tanker. Ship has traveled. What? I'm going to guess about 215. 210. 210 puts her going... Um, I would say... 6.6, 6, 6. 6.7. That's what I would consider that right here. Probably 6.7. Yeah, 6.7. So, let's go ahead and figure all that stuff out, shall we? Alright, so we need to turn on our TDC. TDC is on. We want to slave it to the ship. And we're going to go ahead and say roughly 6.5-ish. And, and then a little bit more. Right there looks great. Um, Let's go ahead and tell it to track is okay next thing we're going to want is our angle on bow let's go ahead and get that done so currently we're sitting here now last time we had a problem where it was not updating real time so we're going to keep an eye on that this time around just because well if it's not updating it's pretty useless isn't it get through the nose we're getting 71 degrees bow left 71 puts us right here 71 degrees bow left. Perfect. Now, the length of an OL class is uh, 136 meters, 110, 20, 30, and a bit, roughly there. Okay. Now we're going to need a distance. So let's go ahead and figure that out. Distance to target currently is about 41.21. We can be a little more tight than that, though. 
It is 4,097 as it currently sits. 4,097. So, let's see. 30, 40, what did I say? 45? Is that what I said? Sorry, I forgot the number I just said. I literally just said it and I've already forgot it. 4,000. Okay, so basically just 4,000. Alright, we can do that. We can do that, that's fine. So let's say right there. Okay, that is that. Um, let's shut down the book. Don't really need that anymore. Gyros are coming up to a good position soon. Let's have you, no you, warm torpedo one for me again, just so we make sure it's nice and hot in case we need it. And we may need it. We may need it indeed. Let's see, 15, 2, 2, 5. I'm trying to make sure I'm reading this right. 3, 4, yeah, that should be fine. That should be fine. Impact triggers would make more sense. The uh, water's like glass. And the angle is going to be really good. Plus, we don't want to take the chance that the, um, the magnetic will go off early. I really don't want to take that chance at all. In fact, I might even shoot two torpedoes just to make sure we get this. No, we should only shoot one. That being said, the draft is 12 meters. That's extremely deep. It's very, very tempting to go that way. It's pretty much a guaranteed kill if it hits. That's the problem, right? Yeah, I think we'll go with impact triggers. T1, T1, T1. Let's use the warmest... No, let's use... Mm, let's use the coolest torpedo I've got. We'll set depth to... No, 3.5 is actually pretty good, I think. We'll take indications from TDC. And I will increase the speed of the torpedo to 40. Just for fun. Just for something to do. I very rarely change it, so let, let's just do it. Why not, right? Okay, gyros are continuing to tick along nicely. Uh, realistically, anytime after this tick right here, after the eight is fine. We're trying to get a nice dead on 90 shot, you know? 35 7. That's as close as we're going to get, I think. Again, using the TDC is not a precise science at all. Anywho, time to shoot a torpedo. Kaswoosh! Torpedo away. Good stuff. Okay, um, I am a little concerned this one's a bit behind, in all honesty. I have concerns. It looks like it's a little behind. It's possible that, it's, that the TDC is not updating in real time. This looks like a miss to me. It is a miss. Look at that. Well, that's highly unfortunate, isn't it? So why then is it a miss? That's the question. So if we remove the TDC from the calculation altogether, right? So, if we remove the TDC from the calculation, then the course is going to be the same as the TDC because the, the angle on bow won't change. But I have very serious concerns that adding the TDC to a game that was already in progress was a very bad mistake. So if we're getting 96 degrees, um, 96... 96.1 is as perfect as we're going to get. Distance to target is currently there. Almost almost exactly there, to tell you the truth. So if I warmed up this guy here, she's doing 30 knots, depth of 3.5, impact trigger. So if we remove the TDC from the equation, right? Let's see if anything works better for us. Punching a tube now. Tube's away. Tube is away. Um, I shouldn't try to load a torpedo right now. I don't think that's a great idea. I'd love to, but... Maybe we just use the TDC for the uh, timepiece right now, because something's acting a little wonky with it. I don't know, it's pretty good. Alright, so something about the TDC is off a bit. Um... I took a distance shot just before firing, so, sorry, it's probably not that. 
And even though I cranked up the speed of the torpedo, the computer takes that into account. So what then is going wrong, I wonder? All right. Let's see if we get her. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I do love the fireworks. Oh, please give me more. <laughs> the Oleander. Heading for the bottom.